اپنے مال سے اور اپنی پیداوار کے پہلے پھلوں سے خداون کی تعظیم کر یوں تیرے کھتے خوب بھرے رہیں گے اور تیرے حوض نئی میں سے لبریز ہوں گے مسی یسو کے عظیم بابر کے جلالی نام میں آپ تمام نیشنل نیوز دیکھنے والوں پر خداون کی سلامتی ہو پروگرام خداون کی آواز میں آج صبح میں بابر ایمینول آپ کو ویلکم کرتا ہوں آج خداون کے کلام کی خدمت کو ہمارے ساتھ جو سر انجام دیں گی ان کا نام ہے خدا ان کی خادمہ سنڈی ایڈل ان کا تعلق ساؤتھ افریقہ سے ہے اور یہ وہاں پر ایز اے پولیس وومن خدمت کرتی ہیں اور دوران خدمت یہ وہاں پر بہت سے لوگوں کو خدا ان کی انجیل کی خوشخبری کا پیغام پہنچاتی ہیں اور جب یہ اپنے خاون کے ساتھ دوسرے ملکوں کے دورے پر ہوتی ہیں تو ان کے ساتھ بھی شانہ بشانہ اس خدمت میں شریک رہتی ہیں آج وہ اس وقت پاکستان میں موجود ہیں اور میں بے حد شکر گزار ہوں ان کا کہ وہ انہوں نے ہمیں ٹائم دیا اور ہمارے ساتھ وہ اسٹوڈیو میں آئیں اور انہوں نے کہا کہ مجھے بہت خوشی ہے کہ میں آپ کی اس ٹیم کا حصہ بنی ہوں تو ابھی وقت ہے کہ ہم ان سے خدا کے کلام کی باتوں کو سنیں اور ان کا جو آج کا کلام ہے وہ بہت خاص ہے گو کہ ہم نے اس کو بارہا مرتبہ سنا ہے لیکن اس پیغام کے اندر ان کی کچھ ٹیسٹمنی بھی ہے ہم ہم سب کے ساتھ شیئر کی ہے تو آپ اس پیغام کو ضرور دیکھیے گا اس پروگرام کا اس پیغام کا جو عنوان ہے وہ ہے کہ تم زمین کے نمک ہو تم دنیا کے نور ہو کہ کس طرح سے ہم اپنی روشنی دوسرے لوگوں تک پہنچا سکتے ہیں یہ پیغام ہم سب کے لیے اور ہماری زندگیوں میں روحانی ترقی کا باعث ہوگا اور اس پیغام کو ضرور شیئر کیجیے گا تاکہ لوگ زیادہ سے زیادہ اس پیغام سے مستفید ہوں تو ابھی وقت ہے کہ ہم خدا ان کی زندہ آواز کو خدا ان کی خادمہ سنڈی ایرل سے سنیں گڈ مارننگ مائی نیم از سنڈی دانی رام آئی ایم فرام ساؤتھ افریقہ آئی ایم سو گلیڈ ٹو بی پارٹ آف دا نیشنل نیوز چینل دس مارننگ اینڈ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو انکریج یو اینڈ ریمائنڈ یو آف او یو آر ان کرائسٹ جیسس My scripture reading this morning is from Matthew 5 verses 13 to 16. Let me tell you why you are here. You are here to be the salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? You are here to be the light, bringing out the God colors in the world. Keep open house, be generous with your lives, be opening up to others. You'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. I'm sure last year many of you have lost a lot in COVID. I've lost two close family members. The good news is that we are still loved deeply by our Father. Last year many of our energy tanks were low. We had lots of disappointments, but it also shaped our character. It revealed pain and presented opportunities for life change to those that we lead. Many of us realized how much we needed God and how powerful the gospel is. My question to you this morning is, how did it shape you? Your goals may have fallen short, but did, did your character grow? Did God make you humble? Did you become attentive and desperate for the kingdom? Most people we talk to today feel like they've, they're all starting over again. I know it was hard, but we have some hidden opportunities. I know you may just gl glance back every now and again and look at the losses, but I would want to tell you that God has a plan for your life. Y you have an important role to play because you are the salt of the earth. Salt preserves, and we, we help preserve what is good in the culture. In the ancient world, salt was thought to, uh, to have been very divine. The Roman soldiers paid the, the Roman government paid their soldiers with salt. A soldier who didn't carry out his duties was not worthy salt. You can bring the distinctive flavor of God's value to all of life. Salt to be effective, uh, it's used to, to preserve. But if we, need, if we need to be prepared for times like this, sometimes we would be faced with many disappointments. 
you are the light of the world, the job description of a Christian is not only to maintain personal holiness, but also to touch the lives of many around us. How can we be the salt and light of the world? Jesus said, our light is not necessarily in the witness of our words, but in the witness of our deeds, our good works. Let your light so shine before men and women that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. When we live as people of blessing, we are the salt and the light of the world. In the workplace, in our homes, in our nation, we must be the salt and light, but never self-serving. Salt, remember, adds flavor, and light must illuminate the other. There are three steps to being a light. The very first one is to recognize the open doors. Every day you, are, you have an opportunity to be a light in somebody else's life. Number two, act in these moments. T sometimes you may, a, a situation may present itself to you, but it may never happen again. So use that opportunity that you have. The third one is point people to Jesus. I think this is the most challenging one. It should become part of your everyday, everyday living. Remember, each one reach one. Our great commission, the Bible says, go and make disciples. My job as a police officer is very challenging. Every day I see a lot of crime happening, but I feel it is more profitable to make disciples for Jesus than to arrest somebody. Praise God. Let us continue to be the light, light of the world. It's all about our King. Let's keep on shining for Jesus. I want to encourage you today. Let us be the reflection for Jesus. Be more and more like Him and have a true revelation of Him. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this time that we have, that we could encourage each other. And Father God, we, we pray, Lord Jesus, that we may be the salt and light of the world, Lord, that we may, be keep, that we may keep on shining for you, Lord, that we may bring many, many people to you and we bring the nation of Pakistan to you this day, Father God. We pray that you may continue to bless them, Father. And may your glorious hands be on them. In Jesus' name, amen.